Hey guys, John Eric here with another brand new super shiny brick. This, I believe, well, I know it's a $10,000 capacity. Uh, this one we put 100 notes versus 10K. I'll show you in a second because I'm not sure who's getting this. If this is a gift full of cash, if it's going to have 10,000 in it. This way they have the option, if it is a gift, to uh, put smaller denomination bills if they like. This one is a mirror top with stitching with the crosshatch sides and the crosshatch bottom of course our logo there looks very very nice pop this baby open real quick and show you the inside got some very nice custom bolts very hard to get out with these gloves on. They're very slippery. These bolts came out very nice. Did a mirror finish all the way around. Mirror finish the threads, the sides, the heads, and inside where the tool goes as well. I'm very, very happy with these. Now the client doesn't know it yet, but we put what I think is his name on the inside as well. Came out absolutely gorgeous. Here, like I said, we put 100 notes. Normally we put uh, 10,000 uh, on this one. I speculated it was a gift. Maybe he wants to put 50s in it or even 10s. You could put $10 bills and give somebody $1,000. So this is the inside. We'll load it up real quick. Uh, there's not much to do with these. This is $10,000 in funny money. Same thickness as real money it goes in there. <clears throat> as I say in all my videos, um, if you're putting money that's been circulated in here, don't worry about it. If it sticks up above, it will definitely compress when you put the lid on. So to put the lid on, you line up 100 notes here and 100 notes here. Put that down. And we sh I didn't show you this. We also did stainless steel sleeves inside here. That way this aligns with the hole in the lid and that way it won't slide around without the bolts in it. Drop it down carefully, flip it back over and drop your bolts in. I forgot to mention in your case that you get this with, there'll be some white foam. So when you lay this face down, the mirror side down, make sure you lay it on that white foam that's included with your box. And that's it, $10,000 safe and sound. This is, I think this is a retirement gift, I'm not sure. It says 12-1-82 to 10-8-21. 10-8 was yesterday. So I'm not sure if this is somebody's retirement gift or what this is. I can't wait to hear the story behind it. But uh, it came out very, very, very nice. That mirror finish is gorgeous. So we'll pop the cash out, box it up, Throw it in FedEx today. Now, I want to remind you of one thing. When you're tightening this down, I highly recommend you use this side. It will fit this way, but it's a long swing. Let's give it a little tiny bit of pressure there. It doesn't take much. You can really wrench that down tight. There's no need in that. Um, this stainless steel is much stronger than the aluminum that's in. Uh, I really don't think you could strip it, but over tightening it, there's really no point. Uh, it's not going to help anything by over tightening it. An alternate way to take these screws out is like this. Just lift it up. Turn it over. Get this out of the way. And you can either just drop them out like that, or you can pull them out with your finger. It's up to you but that's an alternate way to do it. Take your money, put it back down. Remember 100 notes, 100 notes. Whoops, my glove caught in the crack. I want to do something in this video I don't typically do. 
Um, this is definitely going to get fingerprints on it unless you always wear gloves when you touch it. It would theoretically stay this pretty forever. However, that's probably not going to happen in the real world. In the real world, I'm certain somebody's going to touch it. So I'm going to show you quickly how to touch this up the right way. So what I use is Mother's Aluminum Polish. You can get this on Amazon or any uh, automotive store in the world will have this in stock. Uh, I will be including a 500 GSM, which is a very soft towel with the box this comes with. That box does not have enough room to fit the polish in it. So when it comes time to polish, just get you a brand new 500 GSM towel. Those are on Amazon, or actually no, this will come with it. It doesn't take much. Uh, this has already been mirror finished, so it really doesn't take much. Just take a little tiny bit of polish. That's enough to do the whole top right there. Keep your rag going in one direction and make full strokes. Here's an example. You don't need to press hard. There's nothing to do uh, as far as removing any material or scratches. You can get light scratches out this way. If it's a heavy scratch, send it back to me. I will uh, do it on a polishing machine, or if you have a good polisher in your town, uh, you can have somebody else do it. So that oxidation that came off, that's aluminum coming off. Get enough uh, clean spot in the towel. I like to hold it with one finger real tight like this. Hold this up so it's not rubbing all over it, and do real long, very, very light strokes. I'm probably putting less than one pound of pressure on this. I barely have enough pressure on this to hold the towel down. And the longer, the straighter your strokes, the better. When you're polishing, there's really no way around it. You're gonna scratch it. Um, you just wanna get all the scratches going the same direction and have them be as light as you possibly can uh, have them be. So that's a very quick, easy way to do the top. The sides are the same process. Uh, I could do a real quick touch up on this in probably five minutes and make it look brand new again. And then of course, once you've got it nice and clean, handle it with gloves or you know polish it wherever it's gonna be. And that's it, that's your polishing tutorial for the day. I don't have any extras to show you. Actually, that's not true, I do. I do have one more cool thing we just made. I'll show it to you. This is a Tennessee Titans badge. Uh, this is designed, uh, this is going on the inside of the door jam of a Range Rover. Uh, we recessed the bottom uh, here for sticky tape, then this will just mount right to the body of the truck and you have a nice Tennessee Titans badge. One more thing nobody's seen also. I'll make a full video about this later, but this is a Day of the Dead brick uh, that we're just about done with. The detail is pretty incredible in it. It's hard to catch the right light. But this is a 100,000 capacity brick. So like I said, this one will be done probably Monday. Today is Saturday. So that's our newest, latest project. I always like to share a little sneak peek. I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe. Leave a comment on the video. Uh, we are giving away something very cool on Monday. So please watch that next video. Leave a comment on it. I'm going to pick somebody from the comments and give it to them. And it's very cool. You'll see what it is on Monday. Take care. Have a good weekend, guys.